Hello again, it's me, Talit Peshkapia from Mystic Mercy. And today I'm going to be dissecting the song I wrote called Breathe, Make a Garden and Sit Still. That's the subtitle. <laughs> we need to need, we want to want, we take the take, cause it's what we're taught to do to succeed. In these dark times we believe we need to need. This song was written back in 2019 for another Advent series, and um, it's still really important. And so, and it's so cool to, to look back at these things. But as I was reviewing it and reading it, it, it's funny how it's really fit into where I'm at right now with my contemplative search and my my seeking of solitude and, and quietude and being still with God. And so this this was very, you know, I was listening to it with Crystal, and she said, "Talib." you have always had this idea. And I was like, well, you know, uh, some people have a sudden realization. Others have a gradual realization. And so mine's been a little more gradual on my quest. But having the moment, looking at this song now and sharing it with you all, you know, I hope you're able to to grab the sort of um, hope that is coming. And so looking forward to God, but also God is now and having this sort of place that we can share with our community and 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 really dive into. And so this song is calling us to stop, to think, to pray, to be still. And it's a review of our own misguided hope or our own (laughs) wants and desires. It's, It's a review of that. We just came out of Black Friday last week and I got something new. I know many of you all got something new, I'm sure, or you bought stuff for other people, which is great. The charity is wonderful, but I think it's very easy to get stuck in an anxiety mode and and this anxious feeling of either needing to buy for yourself or to buy for others. And and so there's something beautiful in just existing, right? And just being, I think that there's power in that, in this moment. And so Listening back to this song and and getting a reminder from myself even to slow down, be still, let God enter in. What if we didn't need? What if we took our time and stayed still and just tried to breathe? But it's so hard to believe we need to need. And I had just finished uh, Walter Brueggemann's book, Sabbath as Resistance, and the subtitle is great. Saying no to the culture of now, which is competing with God, actually. And so once we realize the alternative of of constant noise and constant anxiety, once we realize that, the, the alternative is to stop, be still, and to opt into the alignment with the God of rest. That's what God is. God gave us a day of rest. And so being able to observe that even in chaos, even in crazy time or a feeling of craziness, which holiday season gets to be crazy time. Sometimes, you know, it gets that um, anxious living. It starts to happen now. And so we have to be careful and slow down. And so this song is a reminder for that. We shop to shop, we kill to kill, we find what we want, especially for the real, we truly believe. The poor stuff is what we need, why do we to and what if we didn't shop? What if we didn't heal? What if we lay our pretty cards down for plowshares and made a garden and sat still and just try to breathe? Why don't we breathe? In these dark times, let's believe in our need. And stay still and invite the hope to So I'll read the words, um, the, the lyrics are, we need to need, we want to want, we take to take, because it's what we're taught to do to succeed. In these dark times, we believe we need to need. We vote to vote, we stress to stress, we rush to rush, and we hate to rest and be relieved. In these dark times, we believe in our need to need. But what if we didn't want? What if we didn't need? What if we took our time and stayed still and just tried to breathe, but it's so hard to believe we need to need. We shop to shop, we kill to kill. We find what we want, especially for a thrill. 
We truly believe that more stuff is what we need. Why do we need to need? But what if we didn't shop? What if we didn't kill? What if we laid our credit cards down for plowshares and made a garden and sat still and just tried to breathe? Why don't we breathe? In these dark times, let's believe in our need to breathe and stay still and invite the hope to fill the darkness. Breathe and stay still and invite the hope to fill the darkness. O oh, come and fill our hearts and guide us through the darkness. My heart is still, my soul is filled. I've talked about this before in my writing process, how sometimes I won't say God or, or Christ or Jesus. I, you know, I'll just say, to, to make it very open, you know, and I, I'll get feedback from people that aren't Christian and they go, that song hit me, you know, that for a lot of spiritual friends that aren't necessarily Christian or, or have just, you know, openness to spiritual spirituality. So I, in this one too, you know, you could fill it in with Lord, um, come and fill our hearts and guide us through the darkness. Lord, my heart is still, my soul is filled with you. Oh God, right. The, these, I'm pointing to God. I'm pointing to Jesus. I, it, maybe this song will hit someone else differently. And that's cool. I hope it does. I have an atheist friend who likes this tune. Um, you know, like, I don't think you need to be in the camp of, of Christian to to find wisdom in stopping um, or or looking for hope, right? That's what the Advent is, is we're waiting. We're, we're uh, you know, waiting for it to come, for God to come, hope to come, you know? And, and so... What's fascinating is as we enter into this time, we we can share that with even non-believers, that there's hope. We can share joy with our neighbors, with anyone. It, it, this is for everyone. The, the hope and the love and the peace and the joy that we get to have, that goes out. And so when you listen to this song, I hope you're able to get that. without Again, without having to wear you know a baseball hat that says Jesus on it, this is for anyone that likes to stop and, and to think and to, to pray and meditate. For me, it's been that. But I, I hope that you're able to get something that is important to you. So the I always like to do a little bit about the music. And so in writing this musically, there, there's 100% inspiration from Paul Simon and the police. There's no way around it. Those are my like two favorite artists growing up. They've been consistent throughout my musical journey. Um, but that's just what naturally, like if, if I just shut my mind off and wrote music, like if I just did it, that's what happened with this song. I just wrote it. And so, you know, I can't, I can't lie. Those are my favorite artists. <laughs> so this is very much inspired, even produced, um, to, to be in that vein. And, and those, I mean, I've talked about it before. I think the police have done an excellent job at looking at society, you know, making these sort of like social commentary songs. And, and so that's what this is. It jumps into that like we are spirits in a material world land, which I covered and, and I love to cover and for this project. We did that last year for this. Um, we did a live thing for the uh, storytellers. We did the storyteller project. Anyway, that is where this lands as well. So as we end today, I just want to say thank you for being here and for listening. And I just want to encourage you to be still, to find that time to breathe, to reset, and to allow hope to enter into your life. And especially in this time of year, um, you know, I, I hope it's not just running around and, and I hope there's no anxiety in your life. If there is, I, I hope and pray that you're able to find peace um, especially as we, we enter into this together. So God bless you all and may peace fill your life. We need to need, we want to want, we take the take, cause it's what we're taught to do to succeed. In these dark times we believe we